What's up, family? It wasn't enough that Donald Trump fired FBI Director James Comey after he saw that Comey was closing in on him and Russia's conspiracy to fix the 2016 presidential elections in the U.S. Now, Donald Trump is threatening James Comey, really trying to blackmail the dude. It's what it's really coming down to. This is what he said in some early morning tweets. He said, James Comey better hope that there are no tapes of our conversations before he starts leaking to the press. Now, what is that reminiscent of? For any of you guys that are just a little familiar with your history, remember Nixon did the same thing. Nixon recorded all of his conversations and he did some uh, personal recording right before he got impeached. So if history uh, serves us right, and if it's any justification for justice, then Donald Trump might be on the right path and don't even know it, going right down that rabbit hole of impeachment. Now this dude, uh, it's just amazing the things that he comes up with. He uh, said that um, the idea of his campaign having colluded with the Russians was fabricated by Democrats. Fabricated by Democrats. See, y'all know damn well Donald Trump colluded with the Russians. Y'all know they fixed the elections. Because you just got to think about it, man. This dude is like one of the worst people that you can run as a president. This is one of the worst dudes that you can your party can pick. And against all odds, just all incredible odds, he became the president of the United States of America. With all of the educated and sophisticated people that we have in America, with all of the brilliant people, the people that understand politics and policy, that understand foreign policy and diplomacy, we picked him, or oh, wait, y'all picked him? Even the dumbest of the dumbest people in the United States of America would not pick him to be president of the United States. So it had to be a fix. It had to be a fix. In fact, the whole time he was running, I was, I was laughing the whole time. I'm like, man, no way possible this dude can make it. He looked like he running for the Democrats. He actually looked for a long time. It looked like he was running for the Democrats. He looked like he was running interference on the Republican Party. I still don't believe that he really ran to become president of the United States. I think that he was like, damn, man, this thing could actually work. Hold on, let me ride this out and see where it goes. And then I think that it came to a point that the Russians was like, look, man, Vladimir called him up and said, look, man, I got a way to fix this thing. Fix being the operative word. I can, uh, I got some hackers over here, man. And uh, y'all still using those uh, electronic polling? Y'all still doing that? <laughs> I could do something about that. That's how I think the thing went down. I know for a fact that election had to be fixed because that just is not enough. That's not enough antiquated ass backwoods people who think like Donald Trump in the United States. It's a lot of them, though. Don't get me wrong. We got a whole lot of backwoods ass low down slimy ain't never gonna be shit people in the united states of america it's a lot of them out there there's a whole lot of antiquated ass people out there and you can't fix them you just gotta wait for them to die they can't be fixed but a lot of those people that think like him a lot of them are actually too old to even go to the poll a lot of their ass is hooked up to respirators and stuff 
they can't even, they got oxygen tanks. They can't even make it to the poles. So where did those numbers come from? There is just not enough people who actually thinks that way. Again, it's a lot of them out there. It's millions. I'll say it's millions. But majority, no. No. No, it's not. So they had to have done something. There had to be some type of trickery. And now he's basically telling the former director of the FBI, if you say anything about me, you say anything about what you know. And then I also heard about that, that, that the FBI director may have discovered some other things about him that had something to do with some underage girls. Y'all might want to look into that. That's a whole nother video. That's a different video right there. So, but yeah, he and some other high ranking officials playing with little girls. So who knows what Jane Comey knows? And so y'all be real careful about any type of reports of James Comey committing suicide because he ain't going to commit suicide. If anything, they'll kill him. Be real careful that somebody say he got into an accident. Nah, it won't be an accident. That dude knows something. He knows something that could bury Donald Trump. And that's why Trump fired him. That is why he fired him. Once again, this dude is complaining about the Russian probes. And he's saying that he wanted to make sure that the investigation was done properly. What damn person you know that's under any type of federal investigation wants to make sure that the investigation is done properly? You don't want the investigation to be done properly. You want the investigation to end. What kind of dummies are they taking us for? Now, I know some of y'all out there listening to this video, watching this video, really are dummies. And y'all really believe this shit. But nobody wants an investigation to be done properly against them. If anything, they want the investigation to cease to exist. And that's what Donald Trump did. He ended the investigation when he fired James Comey. Now, keep in mind, he is going to be the boss of the next FBI director. He's the boss. So, guess what? The next person that gets put in that position has to say to himself, damn, I bet if I go too hard on him, I ain't gonna, I'm going to be out of a job. So I better let this thing ride on out. Keep in mind also, immediately after the inauguration, Donald Trump went to James Comey and he demanded James Comey's loyalty. We got to demand loyalty for it. I don't, I don't need loyalty from my FBI director if I ain't doing nothing dirty. I, what I need loyalty for, what I need is justice. What I need is honesty. What I need is trustworthiness. I'm not concerned about his loyalty. I'm concerned about him doing his job. That's what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about him doing his job appropriately. That's all that any sitting president should be concerned about when it comes to his director. Now, I may need some loyalty if I know I'm dirty. From If I know I'm out there doing dirt, I may need some loyalty because when they come from me, I'm going to need my director to cover for me. And see, that's what he did not have with James Coney. Now, he had it in the beginning because keep in mind, if James Comey would not have reopened those email investigations on Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton could possibly be the president right now. But he opened those investigations. He opened that investigation back up, thereby delivering the White House to Trump. 
So Trump should be indebted to him, right? Makes only makes makes logical sense, right? Makes sense, right? But that's not the case. Trump fired him. So here's a case where, what have you done for me lately? I can't use you anymore. So therefore, you are not a liability. You got to go. Especially when you're talking about investigating me, trying to bring criminal charges on me and lock me up like the common criminal that I am. You got to go. And that's what this all boiled down to. So now he's trying to blackmail uh, James Comey. Basically saying, man, you better keep your damn mouth shut. Say something if you want to. I'm going to put these tapes out. Now, I don't know what kind of tapes he, he might have. But I would assume that James Comey would think that Trump was, was recording his conversation. I would assume that he would think that all of his conversations were recorded. When you're on that type of level. Now, keep in mind, Donald Trump been crying about being investigated crying about the Obama administration wiretapping him, recording his conversations, but he is over here recording James Comey's conversations, and conveniently, ain't nobody saying nothing about that. Everything this dude does, everything that he accuses somebody else of doing, he does the exact same thing. The dude is a, the dude is a hypocrite among other things. Now, the complete lack of, uh, I would say, having a shred of presidential dignity is, is just appalling. This dude is totally classless. He is an embarrassment to the United States. He needs to be impeached immediately I started off what we got to do I'm with it let's get rid of his ass he should have been gone he should have never been able to serve in the first place that is the fundamental problem what's wrong with the United States of America we think just because somebody has money that they are good people we think just because somebody has money that they're smart, that they're intelligent, just because they have money. We got a long way to go. Yo, if you like your videos I'm presenting to you, make sure you join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the man is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.